Hello everyone, Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing how I made this decorative rotating tray with pipe handles. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. So these are the materials I used. I picked everything up at my local Home Depot with the exception of this marble vinyl paper which I got off of Amazon. Now the pipes I also got from Home Depot except the flanges. I got a better deal also at Amazon. And I'm using pipes that are half an inch in diameter for this project. And I'm going to start by spray painting the pipes. I'm using this copper hammer spray paint. I'm just gonna take it outside and give it a couple of coats. I ended up doing three coats of paint. And while it dries, I'm going to be working on my round board. This round board is 23 inches, so I'm making a rather large tray. Now, originally I was going to just stain the wood because I like the look of pipes and wood, but I have a lot of wood in my kitchen already. So I wanted to try something a little different. The good thing about this contact paper is that I can just peel it off if I do change my mind and end up staining it later. But it's really easy to apply. You just wanna get the bubbles out as best as you can. And for the edges, you wanna use a blow dryer. So as you can see, the trick to getting a smooth uh, edge is to just heat up the paper one section at a time and then stretch the paper over. And I'm also covering the bottom of the tray just for aesthetics. And I'm ready to install my handles. I'm just figuring out how I want them placed, making sure they're even on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and start by drilling a pilot hole slightly smaller than my screw just to help guide the screw and once I'm done with that I'm going to go ahead and insert my screws and you can stop here but if you want your tray to rotate like mine then you want to go ahead and install a lazy Susan mechanism I also got this off of Amazon. I'm just trying to make sure it's as centered as possible. And again, I'm drilling some, some pilot holes followed by my screws. Now, I didn't fill the next part, but I did also add some felt pads underneath the lazy tool mechanism just to protect whatever surface it's just gonna be on. And voila, you have a rotating tray. As easy as that. And I'm all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got some inspiration. Let me know in the comments if you would prefer the wood to be stained or if you like this full marble look. I'd love to hear what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.